The popular tourist destination of Tidal River may be off limits for several weeks after Tuesday's flood damage. The only road into Wilson's Promontory is cut in several places and Parks Victoria is offering refunds to people with Easter bookings. As Guy Stainer reports, emergency crews completed the evacuation of stranded campers today. Waving goodbye to a camping holiday they'll never forget. The evacuation of Wilson's Prom continued at first light. Peter? Yeah. With military precision, campers were flown out of four locations in the park. The lighthouse, Oberon Camping Ground, Sealers Cove and Tidal River. Several school groups were amongst those airlifted. Biology camp became survivor. There are 16 of us. Um, they did really well. They, they helped each other out, helping others as well. There are another 203 people being evacuated from Wilson's Prom today. The conditions are horrible, but still the campers are in remarkably good spirits. We Yesterday. had a couple of good walks, and then it got a bit damp. We had a great time, didn't we? We started off with 12 of us in the cabin, and the second night we had 36 people sleeping on the floor. And the next morning we had 60 people for breakfast. Work has already begun to repair the bridge at Derby River, but the road south of the bridge continues to crumble and fixing it could take much longer. Easter is just four weeks away. At the moment if people have bookings and wish to cancel, they can do that and we'll give them, certainly give them a full refund. Uh, we're not taking any future bookings at this stage. The obliterated Mount Oberon Road is a lesser priority. These school buses could be stuck near the summit for months or even longer. At this stage we've got the park closed till Monday and we'll make further announcements on Monday once we've done some assessments in the next few days. The northern end of the National Park could reopen next week, but Tidal River will likely remain off limits. Guy Stainer, ABC News, Wilson's Promontory.